A celebration for the Eagles of Covenant Christian back-to-back -back state champions here in Birmingham. And with that, we say welcome in everyone to a busy week across our area for 15 North Alabama teams uh, aiming to win respective state championships. Alongside Georgia Chambers, I'm Carl Prather in Georgia. Today, our first state championship matchup, two teams from North Alabama battling it out in Covenant Christian and, and uh, Oakwood Academy. Covenant Christian comes away with their second straight state championship. I said it earlier today, it just shows how much of a powerhouse North Alabama basketball is we've had 11 of those 15 teams make it to the finals game let's head right to how this game unfolded the first quarter the eagles came out white hot folks henry glover three ball corner pocket is good more from the eagles and more three balls caden smith for three and just like that covenant christian led 18 to 3 26 lead after the first quarter. The Mustangs would respond like an elite team would. Coach Melvin Allen's team didn't waver. Jonathan Walden's three ball is good. Three of his seven on the night. The Mustangs trailed by just five of the half. It would get tight late in this one in the second half. Jalen Chandler in the fourth on the baseline, working, blocked, recovers, blocked again, stays with it and scores. Jalen Chandler huge down the stretch. Three-point game with under 15 to go. Oakwood trailing with the ball. Jonathan Walden for three. But a foul on the floor is called. Take a little look. Covenant Christian's Caden Smith indeed fouls Walden on the floor before the three falls. That would send Jonathan to the line. He would miss the front end of a 1-1. One -one. And Covenant Christian would hold on to become state champs for the second year in a row, 50 46. I really don't think I can put into words. Uh, my brother was in the first graduating class this school ever had. He's, uh, I don't know, he's 39 or so now. We were, when I was the water boy for this team, I mean, I started as the water boy at Covenant uh, whenever I was fifth and sixth grade. And uh, we were playing, we weren't even playing in the AHSAA yet. We were playing in a little little CSAC conference, a little Christian school conference. We had to travel to Kentucky for my brother to play in tournaments and stuff just to get games. At some point in time, getting to see the guys uh, learn how to get through adversity with a group and work towards a common goal, that's what it's all about. It's been very special, and of course, all of us uh, uh, probably have children or work with groups. It's, it's not easy trying to unite uh, 15 uh, teenagers, you know, but it's been a it's been an up and down uh, a journey for us. When it's all over, you know, when they grow up 20 years from now and their children, I want them to be able to say, you know, that was my coach. Hopefully, I can uh, come to some of their weddings and and be a part of their lives. And so it's been it's been really special, and I think that's one of the things that our small school affords. So an amazing run for our teams in North Alabama. Listen, regardless of who won this contest, we were going to be happy either way because hey, it shows just how strong North Alabama basketball is uh, today, and of course tomorrow and Saturday, big days for our respective teams. We still have nine teams competing for that blue map, so we'll have a lot of action coming your way over the next couple of days. Absolutely. Georgia and yours truly will be uh, here front and center to have you everything uh, covered tomorrow and Saturday uh, as the state championships roll on here from Birmingham. For Georgia Chambers, I'm Carl Prather. We send it back to you.